We are hearing from the newly appointed chair of the Olmstead County Board of Commissioners for the first time tonight. KIMT News 3's Brandon Code is joining us live with what Sheila Kiskaden had to say about the board's goals into this new year. Brandon. Yeah, Jess, Kiskeda and I caught up right inside the government center just outside her board chambers, and she's very excited for what projects the county is taking on this year. She tells me the board is focusing on three areas. It goes health care, housing, and climate change. The board is planning to launch an educational campaign to teach youth about the negative impacts of drug use in an effort to lower opioid use and fatality rates in Olmsted County. To tackle climate change locally, the board is expanding its sustainable soil management program, which educates local farmers about promoting soil health and preventing chemicals from entering our waters. The board is looking to increase the county's housing options with another Mayowood low income senior living facility this year. With Cascaden taking on her new leadership role and four of its commissioners now having a year of experience under the belts, she tells me she's excited for what's to come in 2024. They've spent extra time um, with a lot of deep dives into various departments. That means that as we now move to launch these initiatives, we have board members who, who understand our scope of our operations, are committed to making things happen. Now, she also says she wants the county's waste management practices to be state of the art. And this is going to happen because they are building a materials recovery facility starting this year. And this facility will help uh, separate waste from recyclable and reusable materials to avoid overflowing landfills in the county. Live in Rochester, Brandon Coat, KINT News 3. Thank you, Brandon. The board is scheduled to meet with the county's Housing and Redevelopment Authority team next Tuesday. It's to hear out two new housing proposals which aim to decrease homelessness across the county.